Good morning, King's Kids. I am so happy to be here again to be your teacher to teach you another wonderful lesson. I hope that you're telling your friends about these wonderful lessons so they can join us and we can all learn together. So we have a special guest this morning and would you like to present yourself? What's your name? Jackson. Jackson. And Jackson, how old are you? Eight. Eight, eight years old now. Jackson is another grandchild of mine. And he is such a little gentleman and such a nice friend of mine as well. And he decided to join us today on this journey, on this wonderful, wonderful lesson. But before we start the lesson, we're gonna go in and pray. So can I hold your hands and can you repeat after me? Yes. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. I'm, I don't know. I thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. I thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. We love you. We love you. And we ask you to be with us. We ask you to be with us. Very close to our hearts. Very close to our hearts. So we can get all this understanding. So we can get all this understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so when we pray, we are off to a wonderful start. I hope you prayed at home too. I know that you did because you're already in this routine. You know how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. So during these past couple of weeks, you've been learning about parables. Jesus' parables. Um, Jax, do you know what a parable is? Okay, well, a parable, and you probably know what it is, we're just gonna help Jax understand that a parable is a story. It's a very simple story um, explained by Jesus, and what Jesus did is that he went ahead and got simple things that we are used to that we know a lot about, that we're used to. And he put those things that we're used to into a story. And he compared one circumstance with our circumstance to make it so much better and for us to be able to follow him. So it's a little story. And today we have another parable. This one is called the parable of the hidden treasure. Jax. What is a treasure? Do you know? What's your idea? What's a treasure? A treasure chest is built, um, covered in a hole from a different pirate. So he said that a treasure chest is covered in a hole by a different pirate. Do you know what a treasure is or a treasure chest? Hmm. I think you do. Yes. I think that's right. A treasure is something that we, did we plan to, did we know that it was going to be there? We did? Yes. No. Hmm. A treasure, in this case, for what we're gonna talk about, is something that somebody was on a journey and they didn't know was there. If it's hidden, how would the pirate know that it was there? Because it, it heard the um, spark, um, it heard the noise. The noise of what? The chest. If it's buried under the ground, they heard the noise of a chest. Okay, well, this is not gonna be a chest this time. It's just gonna be a treasure. And we are going to go ahead and listen to just a little bit of this parable. Then we're gonna go ahead and recreate a story, okay? So I'm gonna read from the book of Matthew. This is gonna be chapter 13, and it's going to be verse 44. And it says the parable of the hidden treasure. Okay, so the kingdom of heaven is like this. A man happens to find a treasure hidden in the field. Hmm. He covers it up again and is so happy that he goes and sells everything he has and then goes back and buys that field. Now, while we put on like a little tiny play for you, I want you to think, why do you think that man covered it up again went back home, sold everything he had, and then he comes back, because he bought it. Hmm, let's think about that. Now, Jax, I'm gonna ask you to be a special person. I'm gonna ask you to be a soldier. Can you put this on your head, please? Yes. All right, so, 
There you go, wonderful. Doesn't Jax make a wonderful soldier? Who do we know in the family that's a soldier? Somebody very close to you. My dad. Your daddy. He is my son and he's in the army, huh? He's been there for a while, so he knows a lot about stuff about being a soldier. But today you're gonna be a special soldier and we're gonna pretend that you're that man that was walking around the field and something happened. So I want you to um, get up, walk around the table, and we're gonna pretend that this right here is a hill, okay? So go ahead and get up. And let's see if you're just walking around, looking around, you can move some things here. Go ahead, go around the table and see if you might find something. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, what did you find? Well, wait, bring it over this way. We all want to know. Can you show it to our friends? Show it to our friends over there on the camera. Oh, okay. Well, he found something. What do you think it is before you open it? What do you think it is? A cup. A cup? What are we talking about? Are we talking about hidden cups or hidden? Treasure. Treasure. So then, what do you think it might be? A? A treasure. And you had... A paper on there and you didn't, can you read it? Yes. What does it say? Treasure. It says treasure. So, it's a treasure. See if you can tell us what that is. Open it, let's see. So, he's gonna open this treasure. Oh! oh. Now, I, but before you open that, hold on. Before you open that, what is a treasure for? What can people do with a treasure? Buy stuff with it. Okay. Or keep it to themselves. Or keep it to themselves. Do you think that a treasure is something very valuable to someone? Uh, yes. Yes. Do you want to show our friends what you found? What was the treasure you found? Go ahead and show our friends. I found money. And what else? And those are going to be pretend gems. They're going to be 10, they're going to be gems. Okay. Do you know what gems are? They're like beautiful stones. Yes. Okay, so here, let's show them so they can see. We got some money and we got some gems. So let's say that this has a great, great value. Well, you know what? I'm gonna compare that right now to my Lord Jesus. And I'm going to tell you that maybe you were walking one day around and you happened to, whoa, bump into something and you were not expecting it. You weren't expecting to bump into that, that, that whatever that is and you know what? That very likely led you to Jesus. You know why? Because Jesus is that treasure. He is that hidden treasure, but not that hidden. He already found you. Now you need to what? Find treasure. him. You need to find him. Now we're talking about Jesus. Okay, so this is kind of like Jesus. See, Jesus was there. He was right there. We're just think about Jesus right now. We're gonna think about Jesus being a treasure, okay? So, okay, but it's just fake money. It's just play money, all righty? So, we're gonna, we're gonna try to compare this story. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. So, you found a treasure, right? You found the treasure. Did I find it? Yeah. You found it. But was the treasure already there? Yes. Oh, it was already there. Jesus was already there waiting for you. All you had to do was find him. Did you know that? All you had to do was just bam, bump into it. And, and how does this happen? Maybe you won't find a treasure under a hill, but you know what you might find? You might find someone who say, hey, do you want to go to church with me? And maybe your daddy and your mommy say, yeah, and you can go to church with that friend. Or maybe you can invite that friend and somebody else can meet this wonderful treasure that is Jesus. So he's not actually hiding. He's kind of playing like a hide and seek, like you're gonna find him because he's there. He's always been there, friends. He's always waiting for you. So let's say another circumstance. Let's say that you, have you ever had a little fight with one of your friends? Mm -hmm. Or with a little brother and sister? Mm -hmm. With no one? Okay, well let's think that, let's pretend that maybe you did. So let's say that Jackson had a fight. He was in a problem and he's grounded. He has to go to his room and, <clears throat> and all mad. But then 
in the room. Hmm, there might be like a little book there, you know? And it might look a little bit like this. Do you know the name of this book? Mm. You don't know what this is? Do you know where the Word of God is? It's in the? The Holy Bible. In the Bible. So, maybe there's a Bible around there and in that room and maybe, maybe you start reading about like, oh wow, I wanna learn more about this special person, about Jesus. So, did you get our story? Can you explain it in your own words? Okay, so Jesus is the great person of life and he gives us honor and freedom. Okay, now in relation to the treasure, can you see Jesus being a treasure? Yes. Something very valuable? Something that you keep where? Close to what? Um, my heart. Okay. That's really important. So, and then when we walk with Jesus and we live with him and we talk to him, we pray with him, we sing with him, sometimes we get mad and we tell him and he fixes the problem. But you know what? When all this happens, you're developing a, developing a relationship with him and that is so valuable. And then when you start walking with Jesus, so many things happen. You know what? Do you know where Jesus lives? Do you know where Jesus lives? Heaven. Heaven! And Jesus said, I'm gonna go prepare a place because you can't go with me now, but you're gonna come later, and then we'll see Jesus' beautiful home. So I hope you like this lesson, and I hope that you understand that Jesus is our treasure, and we value him, and we love him, and we keep it close to our? Yes. Our what? Heart. Right. So boys and girls, I hope you had a good time. I had a super great time. And don't forget to pray tonight. And don't forget to remember one of those little songs that we would sing together. So I love you. God bless. Have a beautiful day.